Well, hello everybody. March 29th today, and I've just got my grill. Um, just got done grinding hay and don't have much time to do anything else. I thought I'd start kind of working on this this bad boy of a machine. Um, I kind of bought this because uh, seen one we guy had one along the highway for sale. It was actually a 750. And I kind of had decided I wanted one for doing some cover crop and some oats and stuff. And, and uh, the day I went to go buy that one, that was setting five miles away from me here. And it was a 750, so it was a lot older. Um, the guy sold it that morning. So I already had my heart set that I was going to buy this 15. I wanted to buy a no-till drill. Didn't really care what it was. And started researching them a little more after the fact and decided you know I probably maybe want to get newer than a 750 but then I was gonna be spending more money and uh, anyhow I was just scrolling through tractor house trying to find some for quite a while and and I figured I'd just do a few hundred acres of our own with it and I was having a hard time spending wanting to spend what they wanted for them and I just kept scrolling through tractor house, scrolling through tractor house, and finally one day I seen a drill down in Newport, Arkansas. And uh, it was like 22,000 or something for exactly what I wanted compared to the 40,000 they wanted around here. So I called and talked to the, the guy and, and uh, they said, uh, Oh yeah, we'll, we'll deliver it up to you and stuff. And I thought about it and thought about it. And I just didn't know, you know, until it's buying something sight unseen. But, you know, according to them, it was rebuilt. And uh, anyhow, that one I end up passing on kind of because they end up selling it. And uh, so then I kept looking for quite a while longer. And then finally I'd, I called down and they had this one. Um, it had the dolly wheel on the front when, when I originally bought it. And uh, and they said they'd swap it out for me, so obviously I don't have the dolly wheel anymore. And the reason I don't like the dolly wheel is it would be right there. And with the dolly wheel, if you get into soft spots, that dolly wheel sinks and then you get stuck. With all that weight on the tractor, you got a lot better chance of getting out rather than getting stuck. So anyhow, I did talk to him and, and that is Bowen, Bowman equipment. I'll probably maybe try to put a link in the description of this video. Um, they're by no means, they have no idea I'm making this video. Um, but, you know, they sent me, I don't know how many pictures of it. I thought about it for a couple of days and it had all new, all new opening disc and gauge wheels. And uh, I was really nervous about buying it. It came from you know, coming from 800 or 900 miles away. Buy it, bought it sight unseen so I didn't have the time and couldn't afford to go down and look at it. Um, so yeah, I bought it sight unseen and it didn't come with the grass seeder on it, but I knew that buying it. I had to put that on after the fact. But I, I think I paid like around 24, 25,000 um, for this drill and then a little bit to get it up here and they're real reasonable on their trucking They hold it on a flatbed pickup um, They just took the tongue off here and the tires off the back And it set right sideways and I actually put the two-point hitch on the tractor This tongue on hooked onto the tractor and then lifted the back end with the payloader so They lifted off the trailer and they just drove the trailer out from underneath of it Worked real good um, I can't remember, I know the son's name was Hunter, and I can't remember the, the actual owner's name that was here. Um, but he was a real nice guy, they actually stayed and went pheasant hunting that day um, for a while, and the drill was as advertised, you know, I mean, by no means is it a new drill, but the parts that they say they replaced, they did replace. I bought this drill thinking I was going to plant, you know, three four hundred acres maybe five hundred acres with it my first year and this drill has gone over I think almost three thousand since I bought it almost be like a year and three months ago 
I bought it, I actually bought it in like December. So it's been really good. I mean, I've had a few problems with it. The grass heater I bought that directly from John Deere. Um, that cost a handy dandy $5,000 for those little boxes that go up there for the alfalfa seed. And, uh, but I figured that into the price and I ended up having just over 30,000 into this drill, the way it sets with the grass seed box on and shipping it up here and whatnot. And, uh, the local dealers, they wanted 45,000 for one, but they actually wanted, uh, they had all new parts for the drill, but they wanted me to put the labor into it to put all the wheels and opening disc on. So I figured I saved fifteen to two twenty thousand dollars if you figure my labor, um, fifteen without figuring labor, and I figured probably five thousand worth of labor to change all the all the gauge wheels and the disc were shot um, on it. So anyhow, I guess I just wanted to say how I got this drill. I'm gonna start doing some maintenance on this. Um, my biggest, I guess, the only thing major that I really have to do are these these firming wheels here the bearings are bad in probably 80 90 percent of them and these two are actually ones that i've lost and put new ones on last year but i will probably just go ahead and buy a full set of new wheels and then as i'm doing everything i'm going to check it over um so you guys can kind of let me know i'll probably post this video um, here shortly and we'll if you guys are interested in watching repair drill repair videos um, I guess let me know and I can try to film some of it but I guess I appreciate you guys watching please comment rate and subscribe if you have any questions on this drill let me know I'll try to answer them for you and uh, like I said I'll, I'll put that dealer down in Newport Arkansas I'll put his his website or at least his name and the business name in the link so you guys can so you guys can check him out if you guys are in the market for one of these things because um, they rebuild them they repaint them and so far I've been very happy and and for this machine going over the amount of acres it did I guess I'm very happy with the way it turned out so all right well thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe for more you all have a good evening